and welcome to module 4, in which we will look closer at signal assessment. This is a process that requires uh, some medical knowledge and clinical experience, and you might want to get some input from a clinically experienced colleague if you're not one yourself. But at the end of this module, we hope that you will be able to perform as simple as signal assessment yourself. A signal is a working hypothesis. We assume that a suspected drug has caused the effect that we observe. We have to confirm or refute this hypothesis in our signal assessment. But before we start assembling all the information that we need for analysis, we will have to clarify a few points. What exactly are we investigating and why? If we are looking at a new adverse drug reaction that has not been described previously or a new aspect of an adverse drug reaction that we already know, we will want to focus on clinical aspects or we will want to look for a mechanism. On the other hand, if it's a quality problem with the drug that we are looking at, we will have to look very quickly if we can get a sample of it, bring it to the lab and analyze it to see whether the product meets the specifications. A public health issue will have another approach. We will have to move differently if a lot of people are concerned than if our concern relates only to individual individuals experiencing harm from a medicine. And last but not least, if a concern is raised in the media, whether it is scientifically sound or not, we will have to investigate it thoroughly and swiftly because public concern might go so far as to undermine confidence in healthcare. So we have to be clear about why we investigate and what we investigate because this will influence how we proceed and it will influence the consequences that will result from our investigation. There is also another point that we will have to look at, the drug. Are we looking at one single product causing a problem or is it an active substance that is causing the problem? We will investigate this more closely in the lessons to follow.